is ready. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Hi, guys. Hello, gorgeous. Today's review is on a classic G.I. Joe MacGuffin. If you've been following my cartoon commentary series, you'll be familiar with the focus of today's review. The original five-part G.I. Joe miniseries, A Real American Hero, which debuted in 1983, featured a teleportation device called the Mass Device. It was never made available in the original run of Real American Hero toys in the 80s and 90s, but it was finally released in 2008. Sort of. Mass Device, my foot! I'll get into that a little later. But right now, to give you a little backstory on the mass device, on the Sunbow cartoon, it was developed by Dr. Laszlo Vandermeer. Upon learning of the mass device, Cobra kidnapped Dr. Vandermeer and used his knowledge to create their own mass device. Cobra, they picked my brain. It was actually Destro who built it and knew how to use it. I have mastered the device. And it was used in the very first episode of G.I. Joe to teleport Cobra troopers and hiss tanks in order to steal a relay satellite. <laughs> No! It's not possible! Which was launched into orbit and used by the mass device in order to be able to teleport anywhere on the planet. As a show of his power, Cobra Commander made the Eiffel Tower disappear. Now the name of an object, or sometimes character, that drives a plot forward in a movie or a TV show is called the MacGuffin. Originally coined by Alfred Hitchcock in his 1935 film, 39 Steps, it's a term I personally like to use a lot in TV or movies for objects that both the good guys and the bad guys are trying to get. The thing I really loved about the mass device is that it's not just a MacGuffin, it's actually a super MacGuffin made up of three smaller MacGuffins. The plot of the five-part mass device miniseries didn't just concern the Joes and the Cobras trying to get the mass device or create a mass device or destroy each other's mass device. It also dealt with the three elements required to power the mass device. Yes, truly exotic substances, Destro. The teleporter itself is actually useless without the three rare elements used to power it. So when the Joes built their own mass device, the plot shifted from being all about the mass device itself to being a race across the world between the Joes and the Cobras to find the three different elements. The mass device was released in separate parts, and they also created this trolley to go along with it, which carries the three elements. All three elements come in clear cubes, the first being the radioactive red crystal, which was located in the Arctic Sea of Ice. You don't want to hang around this one too long, or you're going to be glowing in the dark. Oh, Dapper, he's a walking time bomb. The second rare element is heavy water, which both the Joes and Cobras obtained in Episode 3, The Worms of Death. Heavy water, here I come! And the third and final element is part of a meteor which was found in a volcano in the Ring of Fire in South America. It's the meteorite! I think this is a really cool little accessory. I like the sculpts of the elements and how they look like they're in glass boxes. They could have just given you a red, blue, and yellow cube, but they went to the effort of actually sculpting each element and putting them each in a clear cube. And they're not all the same sculpt. The crystals look like jagged crystals, the water looks like wavy water, and the meteor element looks like sand. Alright, let's talk about the pieces of the mass device. This is what I meant when I said it was sort of released in 2008. You couldn't actually buy the mass device complete. And being a longtime fan of G.I. Joe, I found this incredibly annoying. Each of the five pieces was included with a figure and DVD set, so it was a build-a-figure type of idea. The problem, though, is that in Canada, some of these sets were incredibly rare, if they were even released. Two of these sets I never even saw in stores. I ended up just biting the bullet and buying the whole thing complete on eBay to save myself the trouble of tracking down all five of these DVD sets. Raise the mass device! The first piece of the mass device is the console and element containers which, fittingly enough, was included in Set 1, the Mass Device DVD pack. The sculpting on it isn't overly intricate, but it's pretty similar to what you saw in the early 80s. Personally, I like that they didn't go too extreme with the paint applications and the sculpting. I like that it fits in aesthetically with the 80s figures and vehicles. You also get three of these empty element containers, which are sculpted to fit snugly on the front of the Mass Device. 
It's a cool little extra touch having empty element containers, but it's also a pain that they didn't give you full element containers to plug into the mass device. You'll have to do even more hunting and find each individual figure which included a full mass device elemental container. Piece number two is the generator, which was included with the Revenge of Cobra DVD battle pack. This back part here is where you'll be able to peg in figures once the mass device is assembled. The third piece is the control turret, which was included with the Arise Serpentor Arise DVD battle pack. It has these rotating blue things on the sides. Piece number four is the transport chassis, which came with the Pyramid of Darkness DVD battle pack. Really nice silver paint job here, and I like that they sculpted this little part on the bottom even though you'll never see it, and on the top as well, even though it'll be covered by the mass device. Even though it's a tank tread, it doesn't actually roll. The treads don't work and there's no wheels. So if you push it around a hard surface, you're going to wear the paint out after a while. The fifth and final piece is the beam emitter, which was included in the Best of Episodes DVD battle pack. The tip on this is really nice. It really has that diamond look to it with several cuts. Alright, time to assemble the mass device. First thing you're going to do is connect the generator to the console. The generator has pegs and the console has holes. And there's also a groove there for the turret hole, so it fits together very easily. Next, you attach the tank treads by connecting the pegs to the holes, and it holds in there nice and sturdy. Then you'll take the control turret and attach the beam emitter by putting the peg in the hole. This I find was the tightest fit of all the pegs on my mass device. And then you drop the turret into the body of the mass device, which gives you finally, after all these years, a G.I. Joe mass device with a computer console on the side where you can punch in your teleportation coordinates. Now as you can see, the mass device is not actually built to scale. It was much bigger on the cartoon, the size of a giant tank. But seeing as how the alternative that we had between 1983 and 2008 was nothing, I'll take this over that any day. All right, so you have your completed mass device, but it's not going to work because all they gave you was three empty element containers. Yeah, you have three cubes filled with the elements that you need, but you can't get them in the empty element containers. You need full element containers. So in order to get those, you had to get three individually carded figures, all released in 2008 as well. The first was Cobra Commander, who came with the element container filled with crystals. Then a Cobra Diver, whose element container was filled with heavy water. And then finally Tripwire, who came with the Meteor element. These three elements will fuel the device, and with it I shall bring the world to its knees. So to fire up the mass device, you remove the three empty element containers, and attach the three full element containers. Load the mass pods, quickly! Before you attach the third and final element, remember, safety first. Make sure the beam emitter isn't pointed at anybody. Or at least anybody you like. Here are the pegs on the back, which you can attach figures to. You can either attach one figure in the middle or two figures side by side. Here's Destro and Cobra Commander taking the mass device for a joy ride. I don't really see what the point of the pegs was. It already looks too small with a figure standing next to it. It looks even smaller when you have a figure standing on the back of it. But sometimes Hasbro just loves to stick pegs all over things. The mass device has one point of articulation. Just the turret spins around. You might want to remove figures off the back before doing that, though. Yeah! You'll pay for this, slave! You'll pay dearly! If you really wanted to display figures along your mass device, you could go back to the mask line. These figures were much shorter than G.I. Joe figures, and are a little closer in scale to the mass device as it appeared on the Sunbow cartoon. But the perfect scale of figure for this mass device are the G.I. Joe micro figures, which were released in 1988. These non-posable little figures are perfectly to scale. And sometimes all it takes is a miniature figure to make something look even bigger. You can display the Cobras. Or if you feel like custom painting your mass device red, you can display your Joes along with it too. Yo, Joe! Yo, Joe! 
And here's a cool little compatibility feature with another accessory that was included in a battle pack, the Weather Dominator. If you take off the turret and beam emitter, the Weather Dominator will actually peg into the body of the mass device. It's a little tricky, but eventually you'll match up the pegs in the holes. So there you go, a mass device Weather Dominator mashup. Why? I don't know. Maybe I'll use it to teleport some snow to my buddies in South Africa. All right, time for 360. And here's without a doubt the coolest part of the mass device, the teleportation feature. You're going to need a lot of juice though. In addition to the three rare elements, you're going to need four D batteries. Do they even make these things anymore? I think I got these out of a Teddy Ruxpin or a Talking Knight Rider. So in order to teleport this squad of Cobra Troopers, we'll remove Destro here and we punch in the teleportation coordinates. I'm going to make it the deck of the ultimate USS flag. We let the teleportation fog cascade down over the figures. And presto! The Cobras are gone! And suddenly appear on the deck of the flag for a surprise attack on G.I. Joe. And it's not just for toys. You can use it for chores or clean up around the house. Like loading the dishwasher. And if you're settled in to enjoy some classic tunes, but you need to tend to your fur baby, need to go outside, buddy. Hmm. Now you can do both at the same time. Leave a comment below, share the video if you liked it, and remember to join the tribe by hitting subscribe. Nerd Mistake. Yeah!